Hey, 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 Superior Shea fans and other humans, welcome to 23 June 2021, in the Western Hemisphere anyway. Well, I uh, shot for about an hour and ten minutes yesterday honing, and then that took about four hours of chopping it down into 30 minutes of what you saw. You're wrestling with giant files. Uh, my little comparison for Mr. Stone and Strop from Badger and Blade did uh, froze up, so let's put make a little one minute clip. This is just to show you what idiots you have on Badger and on every shaving forum. They're, they're self appointed experts, didn't learn anything from any formal way. So this guy, Stone and Strop, I don't know him from Adam, but when somebody showed him a razor with a funny looking bevel, he just declares authoritatively, never having handled the thing, that razor is warped. I'm gonna show you the clip from yesterday with my grade B surface plate. Sorry, it's only grade B, but it is granite and it is a surface plate and it has only been used to um, hold sandpaper, things like that. So grade B as a surface plate is still very damn flat and I would argue to you much flatter than the average razor out there. So uh, let's see, I'm not going to show you <laughs> a razor that would shine light on the granite plate. Well, maybe I'll show it to you one day, but this, this razor will definitely show you light um, if I did the same thing that you're about to see uh, coming from the center because in the middle it's, it's curving toward the show side and um, quite a bit too. So on a razor like that, you'd need tape or a convex hone. You want a convex hone, obviously. Uh, but on the other razor, the Dovo, the Bismarck that I honed yesterday, that was the subject of that thread, it ain't curved at all. And uh, you'll see from this, from what I show you here, it's just a little tiny bit at the, at the, at the toe and the heel, which is completely normal, okay? But the, the meat and potatoes in the middle, very flat, or at least at least is flat enough versus a grade B surface plate not to show any light. This razor in here is a Dovo Bismarck that was the subject of a badger and blade thread. Uneven edge on Dovo Bismarck. Mr. Stone and Strop, the know-it-all, says the blade is warped, so I suppose the first thing we should do, open this puppy up and put it on that surface plate that you see below this box to see if it really is warped. Now, believe it or not, you can hone in a warp on a razor. Um, You'll typically only do that to the toe, and I've only seen it done a few times. Damn, he threw away one of these good hard-to-get boxes. Okie dokie. Oh, geez, Louise. How about that stone and strop, huh? You see any light poking out the other way? Mr. Know-it-all thinks he knows it all. Okay, Stone and Strop, what you got for us? What you got for us? Dun, 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 dun. Hmm? Yeah. You got any light coming in the front? How's it working there? Dun, 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 dun. Not getting much versus this grade B. I, I need a grade double A surface plate. That's what it is. So there you have it. Uh, I hope you are careful with where you get your information, especially about open straight razors. A lot of the good information was forgotten and lost to time. It was information that was discovered in the 19th and early 20th century when the straight razor was just a razor and it was the dominant thing to shave somebody's face. And then it got lost to time, and then the internet age came, and people that started the internet forums didn't know about some of the things then, and then other people parrot what they know, and then you have the stone and strops of the world that are what I call a confidiot. It's a confident idiot. Thanks. For, see you next time. Bye-bye.